This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. The views expressed by guests on this program do not necessarily represent the views of the host or owners of the Doggy Diva Show and do not necessarily constitute endorsement of products. Medical information discussed by guests on this program are those of the guests and is only for informational purposes and should not replace medical advice by your local veterinarian professional. Hi, this is Susan Marie, the Doggy Diva. Coming up this week, do you have a puppy? We have great socialization advice today. And the latest on self-serve dog washing and grooming. Plus, celebrities partner to save endangered species. And healthy holiday treats for dogs. That's what's on our show today. Let's get to it. Hey, did you hear that? What is that? It's the bark heard round the world. The Doggy Diva Show. Here's Susan Marie. Hi, welcome to the Doggy Diva Show, the show for animal lovers. I'm your host, Susan Marie, and as always, I'm joined by my canine co-hosts, the Doggy Divas themselves, Francesca, Coco, and our newest little diva, Miss Olive. Miss Olive is the cute little Italian greyhound rescue in the picture with the microphone. Thank you for joining us today as we bring the experts in the pet and animal world right to you. So go grab a cup of coffee and your pet's favorite treat, and we'll be back in just a moment. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your Cat Tree Tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Hey, Monica. I know you have a new puppy, little Olive. Congratulations. But, you know, I think that we all need to remember because, you know, there are a lot of puppies out there. The importance of puppy socialization. I think I went through it with Coco and I still remember it to this day. She just turned three, but... If you could just tell the listeners a little bit about the importance of puppy socialize, socialization. Absolutely. Socializing a puppy when they're younger is, you know, essential to having a well-adjusted, happy pet that you can enjoy and bring out and do things with. And that's, you know, what we all, you know, ultimately want to do is enjoy the time that we have with our pets. So socializing them as a puppy can be key. They are most receptive to socialization between three weeks old to 18 weeks old. So that's fairly young. So if you do happen to have a puppy that you get at a very young age, working with them those first 18 weeks, that is before they become really suspicious of things. And suspicious being, you know, what is that? And it's more of a curiosity that is preceded with caution. When they're younger, you know, they see a leaf, you know, blowing on the road. It's, you know, what is that? And can I catch it? And it looks fun to play with. But then other dogs, as they get older, if they see something blowing around and they don't know what it is, it's more of a, I'm going to stop, I'm going to lean back, I'm going to be cautious, you know, what, you know, what is that and what's going on? So you kind of have the expectation that that puppy sets up and how they're going to react to something, whether they're going to act in a fear or an aggression state or a playful, non-stressful state. So all of that happens in the first couple months. Um, not saying that you can't socialize a dog later than that. It's just the easiest and the most happily accepted when they're younger. So the earlier they can start, the better. 
at any age, whenever you do start social socialization, the key thing to remember is go slow. It's frequent, small amounts. Don't, you know, overwork the pet. Try not to overstimulate the pet. Um, but there's a lot of things that, you know, people, it's more than just socializing them with other pets. It's more of just being friendly and not jumping on another dog playfully and, you know, being gentle when they approach and things of that nature. But it's, you know, how they react around children, how they react around teenagers, um, you see it a lot, like within, um, uh, gentlemen, like, are they wearing a baseball hat? Are they wearing a cowboy hat? Do they have glasses? Do they have facial hair? Those are all things that they take in and see differently. And the more stimulation and the more interaction they have with different people of different ages, different backgrounds, different features, the less fearful they become when they are out in a public situation and they are approached by people. Um, people wearing glasses. Uh, it could be something as simple as, you know, again, you know, a leaf blowing across the road or seeing a lizard or another animal, a cat, a dog. A lot of these things all go into the socialization aspect and things such as wheelchairs, walkers, anything they may encounter when you're out just taking your dog on a walk or taking them to an event are all things that you want to slowly build up in time, slowly introduce a new stimulation. If you can, you know, one or two at a time, short time frames in a frequent manner, and the dog will become accustomed to it and it won't be as stressful for them or as you when you take them out. Things like, you know, walking by a school bus, um, you know, in the morning where kids are talking and laughing. And they don't have to approach the children, but just get them used to walking by. And then when they're comfortable walking by and the noise of people chatting and kids running around doesn't stimulate them, it's not a fearful thing. They're not running from it. They're happy. They're stress-free. There's no signs of, you know, alert or alarm. Then, you know, start teaching them how to interact and how to approach. But if you take these slow, simple, you know, steps and then build up to more and more over time, then they'll learn to become accustomed to such a wide variety of people and places and animals that they're happy to go anywhere. They're well behaved when they go anywhere. And it's all around a much better experience for the pet owner and the pet. Well, those are very important tips. And, you know, as... There's so many, it's adopt a shelter pet month. So people are going out adopting puppies and dogs. And so this, I think not only applies to puppies, but it also applies to if you have a new dog in the home and stuff. I mean, there's so much here that I think people can really gain and gather from, whether it be a new puppy owner or even just a new pet owner, because it's uh there's a lot of information, great socialization information. So um, I thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Coming up how you can help endangered species facing extinction. Stay with us. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. We're honored to have with us today Jeff Flocken, North American Regional Director of IFA. IFA's mission is to rescue and protect animals around the world, rescuing individuals, safeguarding populations, and preserving habitat. IFA has partnered with many celebrities, providing star power to protect the ESA for a campaign called One Act for All. And Jeff is here today to tell us about it. Welcome, Jeff. 
Thank you, Susan. I'm really excited to be here. We're excited to have you. Now, for the listeners who may not be familiar with IFA or all that they do, can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. IFA was started about 50 years ago in a campaign to stop the brutal and unsustainable hunt of young seals in Canada. Since then, we've expanded our mission greatly, and we're working in 40 different countries around the world trying to make it a better planet for both people and animals. We do landscape conservation for elephants in Africa. We campaign to stop commercial hunting of whales. And we do emergency rescue for animal livestock, companion animals, and wildlife after natural man-made disasters. Well, you know, I personally want to thank you because I, uh, we were in a hurricane. I'm, I, we're in Florida, and I know the work that you did with Harvey Irma, and you're working with um, the earthquake in Mexico and with Maria and all of the work that you do. I want to thank you because we could not survive without organizations such as yourself. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, those, those situations are so difficult. So first, we want to make sure that the people are safe and have their needs covered. But we also want to make sure that we can go in afterwards and help the animals and make sure that they're also being taken care of. And so many times, you know, people's ability to recover and move forward is linked to their own personal animals. You know, if somebody has to leave behind a dog or a cat at a shelter, um, that's devastating. So we are able to go in and make sure that those animals are cared for and eventually reunited with their owners. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. And you act, you have a great campaign going. It's one act for all. Can you tell us about that? I mean, you have so many stars. Tell us some of the stars that are involved and, and what it's all about. Absolutely. So the campaign came about as a reaction to what's going on right now in the U.S. government. Unfortunately, there are very strategic and aggressive efforts afoot by special interests to try to get rid of the U.S. Endangered Species Act. Uh, the U.S. Endangered Species Act, also called the ESA, mm-hmm. has been around since about 1973, and it is one of the strongest pieces of conservation protection in the world. It saved 99% of the species that have been protected under from extinction, and it currently lists about 2,300 different animals, both here, those found in the U.S. and abroad. It's an incredibly important piece of legislation, but unfortunately, there are serious tax, attacks on it right now. Um, in just the last two weeks, Congress has introduced six different bills trying to dismantle and undermine this law, mm. and we know that the White House, the current administration, has um, aggressively been working with the cabinets and the pertinent agencies to try to take away funding and take away the ability to protect these species. So we want to do something intensive. We want to show that, in fact, this law is too important to touch. And we know that Americans value our wildlife and they value the Endangered Species Act. They hold on this. They're always coming back with tremendous, tremendous support from both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats and Independents. You know, the country loves our wildlife, but there are special interests that are trying to take away these protections. So this this One Act for All campaign was an attempt to try to show Congress and the White House that the ESA is too important. Don't attack it. Don't repeal it. Don't dismantle it. And what we decided was we needed a really easy way for people to write their legislatures or call their, their, their representatives in Congress and tell them that this act is important. Leave it alone. Um, and we decided to try to enlist some of our celebrity friends to give us a hand. Yeah, you have quite the collection of celebrities. I, I mean, I, I couldn't, you know, I saw the video with Pierce Brosnan, and then I saw some of the other one. I mean, it's very, very moving and very powerful. And as we're speaking, there's more celebrities coming on board. So th- this uh, is this is so important. Absolutely. We, we started out um, with about 20 different celebrities who stepped up and said they wanted to help us. Um, some really exciting uh, high-profile folks like Mark Ruffalo, Flash, who's the mm-hmm. guitarist in Guns N' Roses, Rain Wilson from um, uh, The Office, Nina Dobrev from Vampire Diaries, all these folks, Susan Sarandon, uh, comedian Samantha Bee, Wilder Valderrama, um, these really incredible and passionate celebrities, um, Jane Goodall, the singer Leon Lewis, yeah. uh, all wanted to do something. And we paired each of them with a different animal that has either received protection under the act or could be protected under the act and would benefit from these protections. And um, the ties it all together, these little wooden tiles uh, in the shape of the different animals, and each celebrity holds it up and talks about why this species is important to them 
and how they're protected by the Endangered Species Act. So we actually have about 28 different videos that have these individuals talking about these animals. Um, and since the campaign came out about a week ago, it's everywhere. Um, we've reached tens of millions of people on social media because not only are we pushing it out, but all the celebrities are pushing on their platforms. And we have some celebrities that, um, well, hilariously, right after we had the campaign all prepared, a list came out of the top 10 celebrities with the largest social following in Hollywood. And three of them are in our cast of 30 ambassadors that are doing this campaign. Wow. Yeah, Madison Beer, Josh Peck, and Nina Dobrev all have tremendous social following, and they all want to help save species. And it's such an important thing, and it brings everyone together to know that we're all working um, to make a difference. Now, for myself, the listeners, people who are going to read about this on our social media, what, what could we do to help and to support this initiative? It's very powerful. Go- so we try to make it as easy as possible. Go to oneactforall, one word, dot com, oneactforall.com, and there's a button on there that says Act Now. And all you have to do is enter in your zip code and your address, and then it will immediately bring up the photo and contact information for your two federal senators and your one federal representative. And you can send in a letter. We have it ready made for you. You can tailor it directly to their office, or you can call them. Their phone number's on there as well, and we provide talking points and script. The goal is to make it just as, pos- just as easy as possible to let your representatives know that it is unacceptable to tear apart the Endangered Species Act, and these species we need to keep on our planet. They have inherent value. They are something that future generations deserve to have on the planet with them, and we want to see them around. So the Endangered Species Act is key to making sure that happens. And, um, again, that's uh, oneactforall.com. And for people who want to learn about IFA, more about IFA, because you do such wonderful work all over the world, with, with, you know, domestic, with pets, with farm animals, with wildlife, where can they go to learn more about that? IFAW.org, IFA.org. And all the work we do is right there. Um, We're always hoping to grow our list of memberships and people who take action for wildlife and for animals. So um, please check it out and please go to the oneactforall.com campaign because this is so important and the attacks are real and they're viable. Um, We have a Congress that is very hostile towards wildlife and environment. We have an administration that's very hostile towards wildlife and environment. And when you combine those two, it's going to be very hard to stop what's going on. But we need to do our best and if enough people speak out and say they want to see the ESA protected, we'll be able to preserve it. Well, Jeff, I, I want to thank you for all of your great work, your passion, and the devotion you have to animals, and that you're, you're all making a difference and you're helping us make a difference. So, number one, I want to thank you for coming on the show and sharing such important information. And now for the listeners, let's all help and support this. Let's make a difference. And I'm going to ask a question. What animal will you act for? So... Jeff, I thank you so much, and uh, it's been an honor having you on. Hope to have you back on again. I wanted to let you know that the work you did with Cecil, the lion, we we put it out on our social media when that was going on, and I think that's when a lot of people became familiar with IFOS, so I commend you for all that you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. And animal people are the kind of people I want to be with, so I love being on your show, and I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about these issues. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone. And we'll be back in just a moment. Hi, Doggy Diva Show listeners. Susan Marie here to take just a half a minute to let you know how much we appreciate your being with us every week to hear great dog tips you can use with your pet, some great stories about rescues, fostering, and some heartwarming stories about second chances for pets who are now in loving forever homes. Be sure to go to our website, thedoggydiva.com to see pictures of Miss Olive and other dogs we talk about on the show and get to know us a little better. That's thedoggydiva.com, D-O-G-G-Y. We appreciate your feedback, too. Okay, let's get back to the show. Have you ever heard of a dog improvement store with self-service dog washes and full grooming, too? Stay tuned. She was thrown out of a pickup truck. Somebody threw him out of a car and shattered his leg. They found her walking on the streets. Many have been abused, malnourished, eating garbage. 
scabs, itching, licking, missing fur. This is commercial on TV that the ASPCA does. They want you to send in $19 a month for a dog in the shelter. I think you should go and adopt a dog from the ASPCA and then get that dog on Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. You don't need to spend thousands on vet bills. Their answer is nutrition. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. When you rescue a dog, you've got to feed them right for life. Every rescue deserves at least 90 days of Dynavite. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. Dynavite is nutrition. Dynavite for life. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with Candace Boga, publisher of Suncoast Pet Magazine, and Patty Kane from DIY Dog. Now, Imagine this, a clean and colorful place where you can bring your dogs for a do-it-yourself bath, complete with the highest quality eco-friendly products, soft plush towels, and even grooming tools. Well, it's called a one-stop dog improvement store, and let me tell you, you're going to love it. So with us to tell us all about it today is owner Patty Kane. Hey, Patty, welcome. Hi, Susan. Hi, Candace. Hi. So what can you tell us exactly what a dog improvement store is? Sure. It is a one-stop shop for anything you need with your dog as far as grooming goes. You can do full service, self-service, nails, anal expression, nail polish, blueberry facials, and so much more. Wow. That's amazing. Now, what was your inspiration to do this, to start this business? Because this is a business that's so unique. Other people, you know, we struggle. We put our dogs in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Myself, I have mine in my sink in my laundry room. Mm -hmm. And then you're trying to make them not slip. I have the little slip pad, but in its water gets everywhere. This concept it's great. So can you tell us a little bit about how what your inspiration was for this concept? Absolutely. It's two old English sheep dogs, one that's 130 pounds and one that's 95 pounds. Um, and prior to that, I had a, a miniature schnauzer that I used to groom also. Um, I believe in doing things for yourself. I believe that you can't, a lot of people, you can get things done. Um, you know, that's the old saying, if you want something done, do it yourself. I know. I looked at your place and I'm going, gosh, why didn't I think of it? Now, you brought up your um, your two beautiful sheepdogs and they were on the cover. They are actually on the cover of this issue of Suncoast Pet Magazine. Can you tell us a little bit about Winston and George? Sure. Winston we got first. We got him about nine years, seven years ago. He's nine years old. He was around two when we adopted him out of Southern California, the, Southern, the Golden Retrievers um, Rescue down in Southern California. He was found with a rubber band around his mm. mouth in Taiwan. It was through a company called, or an organization called the Tawapa Organization. We did not know Winston at all when we, we were in Las Vegas and we wanted a sheepdog and I'd always wanted a sheepdog. And so we contacted these people and they did a home check and then we drove down and picked him up in San Diego. Wow. And he was quiet the whole way home and we thought, oh no, we've got a dog that's sick. I'm pretty sure <laughs> of it. And, uh, but he's never changed. He's always been that way. He's just been a very good boy. Now he likes to speak a little bit more than my four-year-old, a little too much when it comes to treats. Um, so he doesn't, he's quite content in his new life for the last seven years at our home. George is four, four years old. We've had him since he was four months old. We did not rescue him per se. We picked him up from a couple down in California again. Um, can't seem to get sheepdogs in Nevada, so we go to California for them. Uh, but anyhow, he was with a, a young couple, uh, somewhere around 18 years old, and they, he was just too much for them to handle. George actually has a funny walk, and we believe it was because he was crated and not walked when he was a puppy. Mm -hmm. And we got him at four. When we pulled up into the parking lot at this pet store, we swore this woman was lying to us. He was already at my waist. High. Oh, my gosh. And uh, we weren't sure if we wanted him. She wanted quite a bit of money for what you know a four-month-old is, and... Uh, 
when when I asked her what he ate, she said, I don't have any food right now. And I said, well, here's your money. <laughs> I will take him. He'll have food now. Tonight. Wow. So that's George, and he's uh, been with us for four years. Wow. Two very lucky guys. And, and you're lucky, too, but two very lucky guys. And great inspiration, too. I'm looking at from this from a pet parent, and, and I know that my sister, who lives in California, has been doing this, what, what's at your shop, for many, many years. She has three dogs, and she, you know, I'll go through bath day, and it's like, I have one, Olive is perfect. I could, Olive loves baths. The other two, eh, not so much. So everything ends up everywhere. Uh, can you tell us, uh, from a pet parent, how we can benefit from going to DYI, because you kind of have everything there, and it's, you have different levels for small dogs. You have you have the uh, you have something for the big dogs. We used to have big dogs. I won't even get into how we had to bathe <laughs> my greyhounds, <laughs> but this is so wonderful. So you, can you tell us how, from a pet parent's perspective, how we can benefit from that? Absolutely. So you you mentioned California, and actually that's where it originated. I believe the very first one started, and then because I'm from Las Vegas, out there, born and raised, I knew about this. So what it, what it does is allows you to a couple different things. One, you can wash your dog anytime, any day of the week. You don't need to wait for a groomer. However, we do have the full service, but you don't have to. Um, they walk up into the tub, so you're not bending over, hurting your back. You're not tying them to a bumper, as we've heard. I wash my dog out in the driveway. I tie them to a bumper so that they don't run from me. Uh, the other thing is you can dry them right there in our store with, you know, full force power dryers wow. rather than washing them in your shower, bending over, and then when they get out, they run all through the yard tracking all that mud, and then they wipe it all on your couch. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. roll around. <laughs> they roll they're, around. You have towels everywhere because you know they're going to come and roll around <laughs> on everything. Yeah. <laughs> so when you come in, it's, it's a lot quicker. It's about 30 minutes to bathe your dog. Now, if you've ever bathed your dog at home, you know it's... Probably a two-hour event, yes. not to mention the fact that when you're done, you feel like you need a shower yourself. Especially after you do three. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm saying yeah. this is great for like multi-pet parents. Yes, and we do have a multi-discount, just so you know. Oh, we have oh, a great. second dog discount. So if you have two dogs, you can get that second discount, 10%. And I think it's great, too, that you have a groomer on site. I mean, because some people aren't comfortable with doing their own nails. Yep. And, and you guys teach how yes, to do nails. absolutely. And um, But like some of the products that you use, I, I mentioned that they're eco-friendly. You have everything that's safe yes, for the dogs. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we use a product called Show Season. It's paraben-free, um, and it's good for puppies, kittens, and dogs. For um, people who want to see what is going on, actually, they could go to the magazine and they, could, they can go online to suncoastpetmagazine.com and they could see there's pictures all inside. I mean, I'm looking at it here, but you also have, you sell um, grooming supplies, you sell treats, you sell different things besides that, which kind of, I guess, brings that one-stop shop in there. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that has everything you need from, but the only thing we don't carry, Susan, is dog food. We, we don't, we'll leave that to pet supply. For people who come there, do they need to make an appointment? Not for self-service. Self-service and nails, you can walk in anytime, wow. which brings me back to, you know, there's great pictures in the magazine. Candace did a, a mm -hmm. fabulous job on that. Uh, but come stop in. You, This is a different kind of groomer. Most of us are familiar with our groomers where we drop our dog off in the front and we wait till the end of the day and we pick our dog up. This is different. We welcome you to look at our full service side. We welcome you to walk through our whole store. You don't even need to have your dog to stop by and visit us. So we have different types of packages. You can look. We have that on our website as well. Can you tell us what some of the packages are? Sure. We have it's. We've named all of our packages based on our animals. We have a Roxy's In and Out, which is my sister's dog. Um, she's a boxer mix, and she that's just a clean shampoo and conditioner. Then we go to George's Dirty Dog. George is my back to my George is four years old. He's the puppy, and he's always dirty. He's my dog that likes to put his face in the mud. Always, always, always dirty. Then we have Winston's Royal, who we've talked about, Winston, mm -hmm. who's nine years old. Um, and he is our prince. He does not like to walk on asphalt. He will only walk on grass or smooth concrete. And he truly is a prince. He does not like to be dirty. Um, and so we've named our package Winston Royal. The Winston's Royal includes everything. Everything you need to do a full service room, like, such as their ears, their teeth. Their, um, the shampoo, the, the cologne spray, and so forth. Wow. Then we have the Max D. Shedder, which is my cat. My cat's name is Max, and he is our only shedder in our house. <laughs> George and Winston don't shed. Um, so Max 
is that it's a good shampoo. We could get into that, it would be a whole different subject, but it's a four step process that gets all that fur out. And I so. think that that's very important, though, that you have that, and I wanted to make sure people knew that you have a four-step uh, shedding process, the shedder process that you that yeah, you use absolutely. and teach people about, actually. And we do. We'll, we'll walk you all the way through that process. We'll walk you through any of these baths. We have a lot of customers that come in and say, you know, I've never actually groomed my own dog. So in that case, we'll go ahead and walk them through the whole, all the way through the drying room. And we have happy hoodies in the drying room, mm -hmm. things that can go over their ears to calm them down. We have ear plugs if you want them. Uh, for yourself, no cost to you, any of that. And then our last package is the Buster's Itch Relief, which is was my schnauzer that I talked about earlier. Um, and that's for soothing shampoo or flea shampoo. Wow, you do have every, it is, it's like a one-stop shop and you have everything there. That's right, you're open seven days a week. Yep. What are your hours? <laughs> We're open from 9 to 5, or 9.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, and then 9 to 6 on Saturday and Sunday. We intend to stay open seven days a week, provided the community needs it. We are looking at closing after season on a Wednesday, only because we're not seeing the community need for Wednesday. Uh, often on Wednesdays, we're just kind of hanging out. We do have a couple of regulars that know the secret of Wednesday mornings, and so that they come in and they'll do their dog in the peace and quiet. Um, and we will stay open if that continues. Uh, however, like I said, at the end of season, after one year of being open, we're looking at closing one day, and we think that day might be Wednesday. Well, maybe Wednesdays sure. will change now because yeah. everyone's going to go, oh, <laughs> that's, that's the day to go. It's a secret. It's definitely a secret. <laughs> Wednesdays are, are, we have a couple of regulars that just know to come on Wednesday morning. And um, we live in a seasonal, just for everybody that knows, we're from Florida. We live in a seasonal area, and we have people who come down, which we say in season. So they come down, and they're, they stay with us from it's usually October till April, is it, Candace? Yeah. And and they're a big part of our family down here, so that's that's what helps. But one of the things that I um is very near and dear to my heart that um even though you've been here, you, you just est were established five months ago, but you proved to be such an important um, and valuable resource in our community because you have pet adoptions at uh, held at your. Uh, business and I think that that's so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, we do. Sarasota Sheriff's Office is holding an adoption event today uh, and we do do that once a month with the Sarasota Sheriff's Office. We welcome any other. We also have given several, and I don't want to name them all, um, a free coupon for a free wash if you adopt. Wonderful. Um, and I will name actually a couple of them. Nate's and mm -hmm. Underdog um, the Sarasota Sheriff's. If you adopt from them, you should receive a card that says one free wash. And that's for two reasons. One, to get you into our store, of course. The other is to get you familiar with your dog. It's a really big bonding experience oh, when yeah. you watch your own dog. Mm -hmm. So that's why we do it. And can you just tell everybody, for those that live around here in the Sarasota area, where you are located? We are on the corner of Weber and Beneva, behind the Goodwill, uh, next to the 8-Ball Lounge. People that have been here for years know right where the 8-Ball Lounge is, or Guerrero's Mexican Restaurant. Mm -hmm. We are to the right of them. We're the only building with an awning and a patio. That's easy. And now for people who want to learn more about you, about Greg, your partner who uh, in the business, and about DIY dogs, where can they go? They can, well, they can read the Suncoast Pet Magazine this month and next month and, and read all about DIY dog and myself, my husband and my son and my dogs and my cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, or they can go on DIYdogofsarasota.com or on Facebook, DIY Dog of Sarasota, DIY Dog Wash. Um, and then, of course, you're welcome to come to the store and ask me any questions. I would love to answer them. Well, for those that live around here, and if you want a one-stop shop where you can go in and get your dogs washed, and Francesca's already run out of the room. She already knows how my mind's thinking. <laughs> and because um, she's not a good bath person, but Olive, Olive's like, so she's golden. Um, but for those that want to uh, come see, come see DIY Dog, see how it operates, learn a few things and also take advantage of that great opportunity so i think it's great bonding with your dog and it sounds like a beautiful wonderful place i can't wait to go there so i'm gonna i'll be taking my brood there so um so we can experience what's going on there so well, thank you for coming on and and i and you're going to be at um an upcoming event that we're having yeah. our big uh seasonal jingle paws jubilee I will let candace <laughs> say all about it yeah so candace tell us about jingle paws jubilee and where we are and what's going on before i do that i want to say i've been at um, diy drug several times and um, Patty and Greg do an awesome job to make their customers feel very comfortable there. Like she said, if you don't 
know how to do things, they're there to help you. And it's also a fun place to shop. Um, Patty and Greg have brought in very unique items, you know, harnesses and leashes and different uh, treats for your dog. Everything is so great. Greatest quality that you could get and the grooming products like you had said before, Susan. So I strongly encourage everybody to stop by and and support a local business that's already reaching out to our rescues, like mm -hmm. you said, and um, very important. Um, I'm happy they're part of our community. And we will be open for a big small business Saturday. Oh, open for small business Saturday. Oh, that's coming up when? At, right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right after Saturday. Thanksgiving. Yep. After Saturday after Black Friday. Yeah. Yep. So support your local and take. I'm telling you, with bath time, I have two dogs. Toby's okay. He puts up with it. But Ricky and Lucy, their legs, it's like I'm torturing them. Their legs are straight out. Their toes are spread. They're so uncomfortable in the shower. So I'm going to have to bring them down, too. And and just uh, and the mess, the, the water all over. Oh, them, yeah. You know. Clean it up. Yep. I can relate. Yep. So you don't have to bring towels, shampoo, anything. It's all there for you. Make it an easy job for yourself. Enjoy the experience with your dog and go home with a clean, dry dog. I love that. That's how my sister described <laughs> So what's going on with Jingle Paws? Jingle Paws is going to be huge this year. It's um, on Sunday, December 3rd. We've switched back to Sunday this year because we found some of our sponsors last year weren't able to be there on a Saturday. So we've switched back to a Sunday. Uh, it's going to be at a new location. New venue, yeah. Yep. Big he, venue. Yes, Philadelphia yes. State Park on Tamiami Trail mm -hmm. in Sarasota. Um, and we've gotten great support from um, different businesses. Patty and Greg are one of our top dog sponsors, I'm happy to say. Yay. And we're going to have our holiday costume contest. I've got a lot of rescues that have signed up. I've got different vendors that have signed up as well. We've got holiday music. Um, Santa Claus is coming. We're going to have photos. You can have your photos taken with Santa Claus very affordably. We've got our holiday singer who was with us last year is coming back. We've got uh, three food trucks and ice cream. So it's all ready and kicking to go. So And Miss Olive, Miss Olive, of course, is going to be there. She's heading up the fashion show, which is going to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, December 3rd. You can go to JinglePawsJubileeSarasota.com and sign up in advance for the fashion show if you like. There's no cost. To sign up uh, one thing there's no cost to attend the event either but we ask everybody to bring unopened uh, canned or bagged dog or cat food or a toy or treats because we're going to donate everything to the animal groups that are there this is something that we've done for this is the sixth year we're doing jingle paws now we've done it every year and we'd really like to make a nice donation because as many of you know our animal groups during the holidays more than ever you know, they probably have lots of the animals in there, and they are always looking for things to uh, help with, you know, supplies for food and, and toys and treats to give the pups that haven't found a home or the cats that haven't found a home um, to make them happy on during the holidays and on Christmas morning. So, wow. Yeah. So, anyway, yes, and of course, Doug is a sponsor, and Susan and Susan's been with us for many years since, since the beginning. Since started, yeah. yeah. And done a fashion show mm -hmm. on cost, costume contest That's with... Yeah. With trophies. Yes, we have trophies, and mm -hmm. we're going to have special treats this yep. year for the winners. Yep. So, yeah, so we're all, ex as you can tell, Olive's all excited. She'll be. <laughs> <laughs> she looks thrilled right now. <laughs> She's, like, chill. Yeah. She's, like, ah, this is, I love doing that. This is She's, a piece of cake. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Done it before. Done it before. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've had a great response from our sponsors and vendors. Um, you can still sign up to be a vendor if you go to Jingle Paws. That's what I was going to ask. So, yeah, if anyone wants to be a vendor they can still yep. sign up right we still have room for we have animal groups coming from as far north as palmetto and st petersburg wow so i mean people want to come because part of the proceeds from the event go to the animal groups it's really an, an animal adoption fundraiser and holiday shopping event this is a place that you can go on a sunday and find gifts for people who love animals and for your animals you can do all your shopping in one spot at jingle paws and have a great time it's a great family event so I think we have a theme going here today. One stop shop. One oh, stop. Yeah. Yep. One everywhere. And that's what we love as pet parents. One stop no, shop. I encourage everybody to see. Come out yeah, to, oh yeah. You know, it's a to fun take event. Advantage of it. And know. it's such a great venue. Everyone's gonna love it. Plenty of parking, lots of room. 
and it's it's a it's a great venue. Yep, so you don't have do to worry well. about parking because there'll be professional parking attendants there mm -hmm. this year, taking care of everything. That's like a I big said, one this we've year. We've got um, mm -hmm. three different food trucks. We, we're going to have crepes with Roberta's crazy crazy mm. crepes and Goodfellas pizzas coming back and Baja Boys Mexican Grill. Oh my god, yeah. yummy! Nice. So and ice cream too. So. It's going to be great fun. Um, if people want to go to learn more about that or if they want to become, uh, come as a vendor, become a sponsor, want to learn more about it, where can they go? JinglePawsJubileeSarasota.com Okay, JinglePawsJubileeSarasota.com And for anyone that wants to know about DIY Dog, where can they go, Patty? DIYDogOfSarasota.com Well... Ladies, I think that uh, we covered everything with this one-stop shop, whether you're going to DIY Dog, who sounds absolutely lovely, and I think that our, my little brood and I will be going there. My sister will be so happy. And Candace, everything. Everyone show up with your wallets because you're going to be buying your, your holiday presents. You're going to be buying stuff for you, for your dogs, for your friends. And it's going to be a great day. Refreshments, a lot of fun, costume contests, trophies, Music. Music. Mm -hmm. So it is going to be a great, if you want to get in the holiday spirit, that's the day to do it. It's a great uh, community event and it's helping our local animal group. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited we're able to do it again this year. And as I said, we have a lot of people who fly in or who are here from other areas of the country because this is where people come uh, to stay. So please, Sunday, December 3rd, come stay with us. It's at Philippi Estates Park in Sarasota. So Noon to 5 p.m. Noon to 5 p.m. So, thank you very much, ladies. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for I'll having us. And we'll be seeing you both soon. <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute. Coming up, the latest offering for healthy dog treats from Einstein Pets. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Begging to hear more of your favorite show? <laughs> Full episodes of all our shows are available on demand. Go to PetLifeRadio.com to fetch our entire lineup of possum pet podcasts. Also, dig us up in iHeartRadio and iTunes. Let's talk pets. <laughs> Live and on demand only from Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We are here today with Kelly Eisen, CEO of Einstein Pets and the Director of Happiness, who, along with her husband, Robert, and their beautiful baby dog, Abby, bring us these wonderful treats. Well, Miss Olive says she has one word for them. Yummy. <laughs> so welcome back, Kelly. How are Thank you? Thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. A lot going on with oh, you. Oh, so much going on. Robert's going to be happy you mentioned his name. <laughs> he always comes in. I'm the one who comes here, and he's in the scenes, right? The behind well, the scenes. He designs our special, because we have, spe which we'll talk about later, we have special treats that are going to be given out as prizes at Jingle Paws. He designed the cover, especially for the Doggy did. Diva show. He did. He loves doing all that, and I think he does a great job. He does. And when we start talking about our holiday treats, you know, he's the designer of those as well. So they, it's awesome to see what he can bring to the table, and I love it. I keep pushing him harder and harder, poor guy. <laughs> So, saw so you. You had a wonderful ad in the mo most recent issue of Suncoast Pet Magazine, where we all get a great view of of Abby. Uh, I, you know, Abby's that little special girl that you know she just smiles and lights up the world, and I give her whatever she wants. I don't even think she has to ask for anything. I say, "Oh, what do you want? Here, let me give it to you." But um, she, you know, we took a picture of her, and it came out so well that we put her in our ad. You don't see us do that that often. We actually put them on the bag but it's more animated and uh, we put her in there because it really says a lot about the food you can see it in the coat you her can see it in her eyes her eyes are right and you know a lot of people will take that and doctor a photo up but we didn't do that it really is her and it says a lot about how she eats 
and the healthy food that she eats along with that. Tell the listeners, for those listeners who may not know about Einstein Pets, tell us about what goes into it because the ingredients are so pure and so healthy. You know, when we first launched our business in 2012, we didn't really launch our first product until 2013, probably mid-year. And it was because it took us a long time to do our testing and develop the product in the kitchen. And what goes into it is the chia seed. That's our main Mm -hmm. star of the show, right? And then amazingly enough, everything else is superfood as well as the chia seed. So you are putting real sweet potatoes in it. You're putting in real cranberries. Everything is a human grade form that goes into the product and gets blended to make a nice oat based um, cookie for the dogs. And we don't make cat treats. I'll just say that right now. We but don't. I'll tell you, your dog treats. For me, of course, Olive has no teeth. So what I do for her is, and I tell you this every time you're on the yeah, show, I, love it. I crumble it up and I make her a topper over her food and she loves it. Loves it. And it and it's also very healthy for her. And so you get the chia seed right in yes. it. So we even thought about doing as a product test is doing some of the sprinkles on top of food. Mm -hmm. But we find that really people can just take our treats and do that themselves. Just crumble it up over the food. I got it down to a science. Right. And you know, our treats now are only five calories or less. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to see a lot of them are between three and five calories. And most manufacturers can't say that. They really, what is it, 35, 40 per treat? And they're not at tiny by no means. Our treats are very big size, except that Santa's helper. It truly is a bite-sized treat, and we love it. So uh, we'll hit on all the other flavors, <laughs> but I'm looking right now at this adorable packaging for Santa's helper, and it's real sweet potatoes, white turkey, and cranberries. What more could you ask for? Correct. Your holiday meal. And I see... Your little doggy here, little Abby dog, all surrounded by holiday lights with a little Santa hat on. So tell us about these yummy, and of course, these were a big hit last year. We had them on the show. We had given them out as prizes, and of course, my girls absolutely adore them. So why don't you tell us about um, Santa's Helper? Well, the big difference, there's a couple of differences this year. Last year, we did a label on a bag, right? And that was our theme throughout the uh, launch of the product a few years ago. And it's always been our big hit. And then we did a stocking stuffer and everybody loves the stocking stuffers. But what we did this year is we drew out a bag and we actually had it pre-printed. So now they are in pre-printed bags, um, full size, and we moved from a five ounce to an eight ounce for the same price. So you're not paying any extra. It's still $10 That's in the store plus, depending on what their MSRP is in the store. But the best part is the stocking stuffer along with the eight ounce bag. The stocking stuffer is a two ounce, but we call it the stocking stuffer because what? It fits nicely it's in that right stocking. In stocking. Um, but what you'll see is the treat is a little different from our norm, which is the heart shape. We still have that, mm-hmm. but it literally is a bite size. And so if you're expecting to be able to break it and give a half to your dog, there's no need. It's a bite size heart shaped treat baked for all the goodness, and it's all human grade. So you're still getting all of our formulas, which is the chia seed, the sweet potatoes. But I'll have to tell you the feedback we've gotten because we launched at Super Zoo in Vegas this year for the Big Pet Expo. Absolutely. And I have to tell you the feedback we got was amazing. So we do pre-orders. Um, we will have this online available to sell, but when it's gone, it's gone. They're, they're, we're not going to make more for the year. It will be sold out. Now, for people who want to order it, or I mean, there has to be stores out there who want to order this. How do you handle it? I mean, what should we do? What do they do? So we're. N- I mean, these are like awesome to have on a, like an end cap right? or, yeah, a spinner or something. I mean, these are, they're so eye-catching and appealing and it makes you want to give your pet you know, bring your pet into the holiday because it brings you in the holiday spirit. All right. I'm just going to have you start going with me so you can help (laughs) me sell these products. But it's exactly that. And that's why we do pre-order. So a lot of the wholesale retail as well as our distributors. So we are nation as well as global wide, right? Um, They are already doing their pre-orders. So they're getting them in the stores now. So we have enough that if they have to reorder, they can, but that will probably limit. So if, if we're speaking local about Florida, many stores in Florida can just, you know, if you're an individual, you can go to your store and say, hey, I'm looking for the Santa's helper. And you'll know it because it's by Einstein Pets. 
I mean, you can't miss it. It's a cute little bag with the dog on it wrapped in lights. And we're unique that way. No one has a bag like this. Um, but then if you're not and you're somewhere where you don't have a pet boutique, then you can order online from EinsteinPets.com. And they're there. It'll be available starting in November. Um, we'll, we'll put it up there for everybody to start ordering. But our other bags are there, our other signature treats that everybody loves. So let's go through some of those okay. treats. And since this is heard nationwide, we're going to give out contact information. So if anyone wants to get in on this action, I'm telling you, you just to look at these bags <laughs> will bring a cheer. It just brings a smile to your face. It does make me smile. And mm -hmm. every um, order that comes in through online, just for any order that is ordered by a, um, an individual, it's packed so nice. There's information about chia seeds. I always seeds. say you pack it with love. We do, mm -hmm. right? Yes. When I open up my packages, I get excited. You have a cute little note. Everything's like so personal. It's a very... You do a good job. Well, because it's special, Robert. right? Mm -hmm. Well, Robert's pretty amazing when it comes to all this. So mm -hmm. I do have to give him credit on that. And I just keep pushing him more and more to do more. So Robert, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a little. Mm -hmm. But um, just talking about the other treats. So you know that we have our famous six uh, treats out there. And we're always looking at doing other uh, products, which we launched what we call the Smart Strips, along with our cookie mm -hmm. uh, treats. So we're slowly moving along with the Smart Strips. But the cookies themselves... I mean, six flavors. I mean, if one dog doesn't like one, there's another five flavors to choose from. And I honestly have to tell you that since we've been in business, I don't think anyone's ever come to us saying my dog doesn't like it. They just choose another flavor if they don't, if they're picky about peanut butter or, you know, for the peanut butter and jelly the time. time. Right. Because yeah. there's some dogs yeah. that don't like the peanut butter. And we intentionally put a lot of product, raw ingredient in one cookie so that you're getting the flavor and the smell because dogs go by smell and they want to smell the cinnamon as well as you do. So try it at home. You try one and then your dog tries one. I know. They're good for people. Right. And for Olive, I have to chew into hers to get hers to so chew into it. <laughs> so I know they're good. But what I want to tell you too is one of our big hits that we had were your black and whites. I love, oh my God, I love hearing that. So, yes. we, you know, we keep a rank of how our treats are doing and peanut butter and jelly time is always doing really mm -hmm. well. And, but ever since we changed over to the printed bags, it really was a game changer, right? Everybody is coming to us. They love our product. We're really into pet nutrition, but the black and whites is truly what it is. And it's, it says a lot about the Northeast, right? We all know about the black say, and white. It's like a New York thing. You it know? is. I, I feel home and I'm going, hey, dog, I know you're all down here, but. We got it going in New York with our black and white. I always think of uh, Jerry Seinfeld on that one, right? <laughs> Elaine, look to the cookie. Look to the <laughs> so it really is. And the black and whites are amazing. I mean, it has the coconut mm -hmm. in it. It has the carob powder, which mm -hmm. is amazing for dogs. Yeah, they love it. And it's really that little sweet treat mm -hmm. that you want to give your uh, dog. Um, and I think that's perfect along with our other flavors that we have. But I love hearing that because oh, yeah. we put a lot into the black and whites when we launched it. And I can see that it's slowly uh, picking up um, since we did launch it. And it's really doing well now. So the, our ranking of our products is so close in numbers. It used to be that we could see the difference, right? Now it's everybody's like, I want all six. I, I don't want to pick. I just want all six. So it's a nice thing to watch as we continue to grow. Well, and it's exciting to hear too, because I mean, you've been with us in the Dog and family Thank for so you. long now. And we love watching when you have new things come up or new new flavors or this new the new packaging. I think it was last year we did. And then you've got this wonderful thing for the holidays. It's just so... So number one, it's inspiring because you, you know, you, you're so passionate about what you do. They say sometimes it comes, really comes through. I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'll back off just a little. No, no, you know me. I'm totally into the passionate thing. And you, I know that you guys put so much into it and where it's come and where it's evolved to. And I mean, so many people love them. Yes. That, um, and I know around here, if I walk into a store and I see them, I immediately go to them. And people will say, hey, uh, I said, do you have any of the Einstein? No, nah, we're out. They sell out. They do. They really do sell it well. You know, one of our biggest stores here is Holistic for Pets. Mm -hmm. um, they have them in both their stores, and they sell them like crazy. Yes. Um, and there's other grooming places that sell them. Uh, groomers do well with them because they like to have the treats back there. So we're always looking to work with um, all different customers, retail, wholesale, 
um, distributors, and we do well with them because they don't have to think twice about our product. It's not like what's in it. Oh, I can't read that ingredient. I mean, it literally calls it out on the front, and then it'll really say on the back all the ingredients in there. And everything's made with oat flour. It's oat flour based, and it's chia seed. And you're always going to find those two flavors or two raw ingredients inside of our product flavors. And they're absolutely yummy since I've eaten them. Um, you, you have. You have. <laughs> I always and I love share, that. Yeah. I always love but my that. other girls love them too. But what do we have? What's coming on? What's new? What's what's on the horizon? There always seems to be something on the horizon. I know. And as I'm getting ready to explain it to you, I, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so tired now. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think you always have to stay evolved, right? You have to evolve from where you are. And we really, truly are inspired by dog, right? Abby has really inspired us with the Santa's Helper, the printed bags. Um, we're starting to look at um, what can we do with maybe dog food? You know, we've been playing that around to wow. see, but it's a lot because, you know, do we do the raw type of uh, feeding or do we really look at the kibble and what goes in kibble to make it a healthy form that a dog's eating it? But that's a, a couple years away, if not longer, because it takes a lot of pet it's a nutrition. Big endeavor. It really but, is. I mean, you guys have the nutrition down pat. <laughs> we do, and I think we can transition that right to a dog food. But we're also looking at our strips that we have. So we have one that uh, is a sweet potato and banana that sells amazingly well. It's like a jerky, but it's vegetarian. Um, and what we're thinking of doing is maybe adding a little bit of bacon in there to give um, some of those dogs that want that little meaty. Mm. So we'd still do the sweet potato, but maybe do bacon flex or something flex like all over yeah. so we're, we're still playing around with it um that's kind of on the horizon and we're kind of looking at um you know we're space we've outgrown our space here in sarasota florida where we're based so we're always looking at more space and and growing from there and and how do we continue to grow and and who wants our treats you know now, for people out there who are listening, and, you know, we have people from all over the nation listening to us, for people who want to learn more about your treats, or for, let's say, there's stores out there in Colorado, L.A., New York, people who want your treats in their stores, or in their grooming salons, or in their pet spas, I mean... How would they get in touch with you? What That's would best great. Way? So I, I think first is that if you're a wholesale retail customer or distributor, you can go online. You're going to see the, um, what we're selling them for online. Um, and that's www.einsteinpets.com. And you'll see what we have available, right? Everything we have on there is available to the stores as well. But also you can contact me directly. If you have any questions about the product, if you currently have it, it's Kelly with a Y at EinsteinPets.com. And we're happy. We have a link into a Dropbox that we can provide images once you become a customer, information on chia seed, why it's so beneficial. We have um, images for you to uh, post on your website if you need it. We look to, and one of the great things if you are a retailer, retail store, we have MAP pricing in place. It's minimum advertised pricing. It's there to protect you so that when we do have a customer who's selling online only, that they have to adhere to the standards so that they're not trying to get a lesser price mm. because they don't have to worry about all the store retail set up. So we do have it. We implemented it this year and it really has helped with the stores. Now for people who want to just shop, if they're just listeners and, and there there are none in stores around them, can they just order them right off your website? Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for uh, reminding me on that. So you can go to our website, EinsteinPets.com. Look around, see if you like something. You can just place an order, click on it, and add it to your cart and you can get the two ounces there you can get the stocking stuffers the eight ounce and we also do our classic which is the five ounce bags are still on there um for those that might want the classic bags versus the eight ounce and two ounce bags but i mean you have so much to offer and it's and the little two ounce bags i absolutely love because it's great for the girls right? stocking and, you know, one of the things I just have to mention on that is we made the two ounce because a lot of millennials, you know, how they're buying. Yeah. And they're buying a lot of pet products. And one of the things, the feedback we were receiving is they love the bigger bags, but millennials are always on the go. Not that we're not. 
Mm-hmm. But we're a little bit older and we're not always on the go. But the millennials love it. And so they can just punch a hole in there and they can carry it with them when they're hiking, when they're in the car. And it's just enough for the dog um, on the road or hiking That's or perfect. doing some kind of activity. Because, mm-hmm. you know, with chia seed, it helps with your metabolism mm-hmm. and it keeps you going as you're trying to work out. Yeah, I think that that's wonderful. And there's something that I think appeals to everyone uh, with with what you're doing. And one of the things that we're doing, of course, is we are doing Jingle Paws Jubilee, which I know yes, you're part of. we're a part of. of that. And Robert so graciously designed um, a special cover for the Doggy Diva. Yes. Those are going to be given out as part of our prize package for the winners of the costume contest that Olive is hosting. We love Miss Olive. And, yeah, so we're very excited, and that's always a big hit. I mean, people... Sometimes I think they enter so that they could get. I, I started this last year. You did and did well, didn't it? it? Did, yeah, yeah. there. I mean, people were like coming, and going. Where can I get the? I mean, because it was all over the place. And I think mm-hmm. you and I talked that we might do mm-hmm. some kind kind of contest next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe we can do that. Um, that might be beneficial to your um listeners. A little Valentine contest. I think that would be nice. I think that would I be great. I think you could do something because, really cute. Yeah, because when we did it last year, there were we did um we did a holiday one, we did a Valentine one and we did a St. Patrick's Day one. Oh yeah, and I forgot about that uh, one. Yeah, we had a great we had great response to that and people really loved it. And it re- they really love your treats. I mean, the feedback we got were they really really oh. love your treats. Yeah. So. And you know, every time I say ah oh, is because I just, you know, it's made with love, right? Mm-hmm. It's uh, it, we are inspired by Abby every day. And and what we can do and what she likes and doesn't like and we see it and it it transfers over to a lot of other dogs so when she likes something we really hone in on it and say wow we could do something with that and so one of the things I was going to share with you is that we're looking at um, something a little unique is that everybody wants to try our treats and it, it's a little challenging to say oh we'll send you a free bag or we'll do this so what we're thinking of doing is creating a little trifold that we can put a cookie oh. on and explains the one cookie so it's almost like the dog you can try it with the dog yeah. and it's just a one treat per um the trifold and you go oh i like this one and then you can come back and order and we'll give what you a, a discount yeah yeah and I, we're looking at that for next year probably won't launch it until probably global time which is another pet expo in march so we probably will do it around then just to get some um advertisement around mm-hmm. it so people can start learning more about it why we're doing it well, it seems like every time we, that you're on, we're talking about something new I know, and, I know. and the, all these things that are going forward with um, Einstein Pets, which is very exciting. And um, and we love talking to you and we love uh, letting all the listeners know everything that's going on for you about this. Because let's give the listeners, if they want to get in touch with you, to purchase them on your on their own. If a, if a wholesaler wants, if, they have, if there's stores who want to talk to you, or let's give out that contact information again. And your website so everyone can, like, see all the stuff that you have, too, because it's a lot. We have a lot. And um, so if you're an individual or store, wholesale distributor, go to the same website, EinsteinPets.com, and that would be www.EinsteinPets.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. We have Einstein Pets there. Just look for us, and you'll see us with the followers. You can contact me because if you're a wholesaler, retailer, you're not going to find wholesale pricing information on our website. So just contact me directly at Kelly with a Y, at EinsteinPets.com. Um, and I'll be happy to talk to you, give you a call. We can talk about what your needs are so that we can price um, to you appropriately. That's great. And again, I always say that everything's packed with passion and i know that (laughs) for a passion i know that for a fact einstein pets santa's little helper i'm telling you if you see him in a store or if you if you order him or you see him online you're going to absolutely fall in love with them because it's just it's eye-catching and they're also delicious they are. Yeah, they are. Perfect. Yeah, because you've eaten them. I think we all have. <laughs> Little Chia does the body good, Little doesn't Chia it? Chia does the body good. So, well, as always, I thank you, Kelly. It's great having you back. And we'll have you back on again. We'll do that thing at Valentine's Day. I'm going to have a little contest. Okay, we'll do something then. Yeah, special. All right. Well, thank you very much. And we will be back in just a moment. Thank you. We would like to thank our guests this week. And also, as our doggy divas always say, please love your pets because they love you unconditionally. And please remember to adopt, foster, spay, neuter, and microchip. And as always, please have a great Diva Week, everyone. That's all for this episode of the Doggy Diva Show. 
To find out more, go to our website, thedoggydiva.com. Also, find us on our Facebook page, The Doggy Diva Show, and tell your fellow dog lovers about it. Don't miss Susan Marie, Miss Olive, and the Doggy Divas right here for the next episode. See you again soon. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.